What's one of the essential keys to becoming an ad writing wizard? Tom Wienick here and you're watching Wizard Marketing TV, where business owners learn persuasive tools and techniques to spark miraculous growth. Stay tuned and I'll share my secret inspiration and reveal how it taught me to become an ad writing wizard. Kenny's eyes embrace Rhonda's furry blue coat the moment she steps on the bus for the first day of school. Rhonda's the new girl in town and she instantly rocks Kenny's world. Painfully shy and soft-spoken, Kenny is unable to find the courage to tell Rhonda how he feels about her. So he writes down his feelings each day in a diary, often describing what she wore that day and what he would say to her only if he could. Weeks later, Kenny learns that his good friend Ted is also smitten with the beautiful Rhonda. Yes, this must be some gal. Funny thing is, Ted too is shy and isn't quite sure what to say to Rhonda. So he asks his pal Kenny to pen a love note. Kenny agrees and writes down everything he would say to Rhonda. See, writing is Kenny's way of expressing his emotions. Long story short, Ted signs his name to the love note and wins the girl. But remember, it was Kenny's note, Kenny's words that ultimately won Rhonda's heart. At age 11, Kenny Babyface Edmonds is already a student of human behavior and a master of persuasion. He would go on to become a 10-time Grammy winner with 11 solo albums of his own. Perhaps the greatest music writer and producer of our generation, Edmonds impeccably crafted explorations of love romance and relationships have produced more than 125 top 10 R&B and pop hits, 42 number one R&B hits, and 51 top 10 pop hits, including 16 number ones, all of which have produced single and album sales in excess of 500 million units worldwide. For artists such as Eric Clapton, Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Mariah Carey, Tony Braxton, Beyonce, and Whitney Houston among many others. Confession time, I'm a sucker for love songs. Ballads are my favorite genre of music and songs written by Babyface have always been among my favorite. Most important of all, listening to his songs have helped me become a better ad writer. I've always been drawn to the way Babyface avoids lyrical cliches, instead choosing unusual words in unusual combinations like the way he makes up words like whip appeal, which describes a woman so beautiful that it will give your neck whiplash. I appreciate the way Babyface just comes out and says the thing with incredible clarity. But most important of all, I love how he taps into and speaks to the power of emotions. Unusual words in unusual combinations, making up your own words, just coming out and saying the thing, speaking to the emotions that reside within your customer's heart. These things will make you an infinitely better ad writer. Now, am I suggesting you listen to love songs written by Babyface? Not necessarily. After all, that's my inspiration. That's my secret to ad writing success. But what I really want you to do, what I'm really suggesting is that you feed your brain. To become a better ad writer, to become a better marketer, you need to understand what makes people do the things they do. Psychology, neurology, music, art, poetry. These are all fabulous areas for marketing wizards like you to learn about human behavior and the power of persuasion. Look around. Inspiration is everywhere. What rocks your world? Take notice of it. Deconstruct it. You won't become a marketing wizard just by reading marketing books. Got it? Good. Now go rock your world. Now before you go, if you like this video and found it helpful, comment below, give it a big thumbs up and share it with people you know. Oh, and send me your marketing and advertising questions. Because I want to help you, I'll give you an answer right here. Hit me up at Tom at TomWainick.com. And always remember, we're in this together. I've got your back. I'll see you real soon.